Hi friends, my name is JP Rainsford with Rainsford Photography and we are all about growing confidence for the wedding photographer. Today I'm going to take you along and show you all of our non-camera wedding day essentials so that you can head into your next wedding with confidence. Are you ready? Let's get started. that you're gonna to wanna to put together is actually a cooler. Now, we are outside all day photographing weddings. It gets hot. You wanna make sure that you have a cooler ready to go. Some of our favorite things that we put in our cooler are our water bottles, some LaCroix. Make sure you fill this bad boy up with lots of ice because you want your drinks cold and ready to go whenever you get a break. Other things that we throw into our cooler are things like energy bars because most weddings will start sometime midday with wedding photography coverage. We've already eaten lunch, but it's already gonna be a long day on your feet. You're gonna be burning lots of calories. You wanna get some energy whenever you have a minute. So throw all of this into your cooler so you have it ready whenever you have a quick break. A few other non-camera wedding day essentials for you. We always pack bug spray. We constantly are photographing in fields, things that have lots of bugs, you just never know. So take bug spray with you. Also, some deodorant. Usually, halfway through the day, Round and I will step aside, get a quick drink of water, re-deodorant. It just is a game changer for us. We love Primally Pure, and I'm gonna link these in our YouTube video today for you. These are our favorite brands on a wedding day. They're clean, they're wonderful, and they last all day. Take these with you. Before you leave the house, just a quick tip, go ahead and put some sunscreen on your arms and your face. This will help you for the first half of your day when you're photographing your wedding. But throw this bad boy in your bag with you. Make sure you have it handy and reapply. I cannot tell you the amount of times that Round and I have forgotten to put sunscreen on, We'll come home that night and we're pretty toasty. You want to be able to keep your skin healthy and photograph outside all day long, so make sure you wear some sunscreen. Now, Round and I really believe that we want to stay off of our phones as much as possible on the wedding day. Yes, I take out my phone to get some behind the scenes video footage and things like that to share with our followers on Instagram, but we wanna be in the moment with our bride and groom as much as possible. So for us, we don't wanna be pulling up the wedding day schedule and figuring out what's gonna happen next with family formals on our phone. So instead, we print our schedules and our family formal list to take with us. We cannot tell you the amount of times that this has been so helpful for us, not only in the moment to pass off to a videographer or another person there that's on the team at the venue working with us, but also gives our bride and groom peace of mind that we've prepared well for their wedding day, that we thought ahead to print things off, we have the family formal list ready to go, I can take a pen and add in anything along the way or scratch things out and help the day go smoother. So print your list, be in the moment with your bride and groom, and don't forget them. So on our YouTube channel, Ryan has already made a video about everything that we keep in our camera bag. So all of our gear, our lenses, our bodies, all of the flash and everything that we have with us on a wedding day. So our wedding day bag is a, is a roll away bag and it has all these zippers and pockets and everything in there. It's super handy, keeps everything organized. So a few other things that we keep in our wedding bag that is non-camera essential gear for your wedding day are these few things. We always have business cards handy. Now we love going to new venues, meeting new vendors, and handing out our business cards. It gives us a personal touch, we're ready to go, and we hope to work with them again in the future. So make sure you have your business cards ready that you can give out to your favorite people you love. Also, coordinators are super busy on the wedding day. They always have a lighter ready for you to go so that you can take those beautiful centerpiece photos. But to set you apart, take your own lighter. That way, if a coordinator is busy, you can't get into the office or get them when you're ready to take those centerpiece photos. 
take out your own lighter, light those few candles, get those photos. It'll set you apart and show that you're ready and you're prepared to shoot a wedding day with confidence. Okay, so we've gone through quite a few things. The last few things that we take with us on our wedding day. We always have our hold fast money maker straps. We have a whole video on our YouTube channel about this already, but this is the one thing that we cannot forget because it holds both of our cameras. If you wanna learn how we use them, go back a few videos, we have a whole video on that, but take this with you, it will save you. Save your back and it'll give you confidence on the wedding day. Now, when we started wedding photography, we had no idea the amount of time that we'd be on our feet. Most days, the coverage for us is eight to 10 hours. That's a lot of time on your feet. So a top priority of ours is having great shoes that will last our entire wedding season while also being comfortable. Our favorite wedding day shoes are made by Cole Haan. Now they're a little bit more expensive, but they're totally worth it. They're durable, they last for our entire wedding season, and they are made with an athletic sole, so they're super comfortable, but they're a dress shoe. So my shoes that I'm wearing this wedding season are these sandals. I'll link them for you guys so you can see them. Ryan has a couple pair of dress shoes that he loves. And guys, we get compliments on our shoes all the time. We cannot recommend Cole Haan shoes for your wedding day enough. Okay friends, we've made it through an entire list of things that we take on our wedding day that is non-camera gear essential, but I'm gonna leave you with this last trick. We always take this marble with us. Now this is actually a really funny find because it's a cutting board on the back and a serving platter on the front. We got it a couple years ago at Target, but we always take this with us to take our ring shots on. So Ryland will always lay the bouquet down, the rings, and a couple other little details. And this little piece of marble is the consistency between all for all of our detail shots. So take something with you that you can lay down and take some detail shots on in case there's nothing there at the venue that has a nice smooth surface that is nice and pleasing to the eye. So grab something small like this throw it in your bag and have it ready for your detail shots as well. So over the years and dozens of weddings later, these are our items that we take with us that are non-camera gear essential items for your wedding day. I really hope that this video was helpful for you and in instilling confidence for you, the wedding photographer. If you have questions, please ask in the comments below. We'll pop in, give you some tidbits and say hello and cheer you on. Also, please subscribe to our channel. It is free for you and super beneficial for us. And so it's a win-win all the way around. We can't wait to come back and share some more tips and tricks and behind the scenes with you. Thanks friends.